This is why there's entanglement. We measure in laboratory. Quantum mechanics told us that Einstein wrote these papers with Rosen and Pedosky, showing that like quantum mechanics must be wrong because it's saying that like things could be entangled across the universe. That like a particle over here, if I changed it, it, it could affect a particle on the other side of the universe instantaneously. And he wrote these papers trying to disprove quantum mechanics mm. or that interpretation of quantum mechanics. But in two months, he wrote another paper showing that, oh, even in relativity, they could form, space-time could form wormholes that connected two points in the universe instantaneously. And most physicists didn't really understand what Einstein did there. I mean, they call it spooky action at a distance, right? Because yeah. it's spooky because it's like, what the mm. fuck is going on here? Because we don't understand it. And people didn't clue in that actually Einstein tried to solve that problem with wormholes. They think that he wrote two papers independently, although the writers were very much the same people, right? It was uh, Rosen and Einstein for wormholes and Rosen and Einstein and Podolsky and for the other one. And so, but this, this not, you know, like he was trying to understand this, like, wait, space time is like a fabric that's like networked, you know, and he, he wrote it for particles, not for black holes in the universe. You you saying particles seem to be like wormholes, black holes network. So a wormhole to me, if I'm understanding what a wormhole must be, it must be just a way that things connect through the unified field. That's right. That field, that zero point energy fluctuating field has structure to it that connects the black holes or the hub and the wormholes are the wires that connects the hub of the network. And there's basically infinite wires. That's right. And infinite wormholes. And the wormholes are Planck scale. Right. So they're the, the most micro, <laughs> micro, micro wormholes. And when information goes through, cannot be Planck scale. So it's hyperplankian. It's su it's subplankian. Yeah, because it's and, just in it's in the unified field. Yeah, and so and so because we have the scaling now. Yeah. In our equations, I can calculate the speed of the subplankian field. Whoa. I can calculate how fast the universe is thinking. We think it's instantaneously by measurements of entanglement, but that's because we can't measure very it's just fast. Too, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so fast. It's faster than the speed of light yeah. by 10 to the 40th orders of magnitude. Th this is another thing that's very prominent in ancient civilization, it says that the whole thing is network and organized. Mm -hmm. That chaos is only a perspective, right? Right. If you got your nose in the rug, you can't see the pattern, you think it's chaos. But if you back up, then you start to see the pattern, right? Yeah, the whole mosaic. Yeah, if the whole thing is network, that means it's feedback of information through this network, right? Then the universe has to be updated every instant, right, mm -hmm. by entanglement. And so I calculated at the speed of light, the universe would break down. Like, it, you know, it would take billions of years for information to go from one side of the universe to the other to, so that everything could be in the correct order of a relationship. I calculated at the subplankian speed how fast the universe is updating just for our universe. Not Which the, is like the pulsing. Yeah, the pulsing. Right. And it's updating at 10 to the minus 22 second to, for information to go from one side of the universe to the other. Okay. And it just happens to be the time that it takes a proton to do one turn. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You see? You see yeah, how so it's all based it, in the It's all relationship of oscillators. So there's a lot of esoteric and spiritual teachings that say there's a place or dimensionality beyond time and I think they use entanglement and I've seen this used and, I, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying it's correct but they use entanglement to say it's instantaneous right but there it really didn't make sense to me instantaneous right necessarily. What, what does that mean it's but it's but used in physics what do you mean by instantaneous <laughs> right and what you're saying is it's no it's not instantaneous that time time and space are connected Right. And so there is no space without time. There's that's nothing, there's no atemporal existence. That's right. It's just going down to such an infinitely, infinitely fast. 
exactly. A speed that it's almost immeasurable. For us, definitely, even information going across the universe would look instantaneous. And so as, as long as there's differentiation of any sort, because in the stillness is absolute singularity, right? Right. And there's stillness where everything is just one, so there's nothing moving and there's no memory, there's no time, there's no... And that's at the center of everything. That's at the center of everything. Yeah. But everything else, it's just scales of time. That's right. That makes way more sense to me. And, and even deeper than that, time is not a fundamental concept. Viewed from this perspective, memory is a fundamental concept. So no memory, no time. If you don't know what happened before, you can't see an evolution in time. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I changed the word space-time for space memory. So I have a paper out called, you know, space memory network. Think of time is really just different sets of information in in coordinates along a line. So for instance, think of the earth spinning around the sun, right? Mm -hmm. So we keep thinking that the earth spinning around the sun is like going around in a circle. That's false, right? That should never be taught to students. It's incorrect. The sun is moving in our galaxy and the, the, the planets are spiraling as the sun is moving through the galaxy. We're like billions and billions of you know, kilometers away from where we were last year. And, and, and as we think of it as like we're leaving information in the structure of space, in, in mm -hmm. this network, as Creating we're... Creating a record in the Akash. That's right. And which, is the, which is the grand memory bank that's of, all, right. of all things. Which is, was known by ancient civilization. Right. And that is actually memory. Even the memory of your mind. Like your memory is you accessing information that was left in these coordinates when you were young, for instance. Yeah. And, and it's malleable, meaning you can change it. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And that's not prohibited by Einstein field equations, by the way. It's better to think of time as information mm -hmm. in coordinates in space. Mm -hmm. And so, so basically... When a bit of information leaves one side of the universe because you've changed the state of a particle, it's information that is transferred to the other side. Do you see? Yeah. And the time it took is just the entropy of this information having to go over there. Mm-hmm. And this entropy, this little energy loss, is what we call mass. It's, it's actually the, the, the energy of creation. So, so, it, yeah. so the whole thing is thinking. And as it's thinking, it's making matter. It's making creation. It's thinking slash remembering. Right. And, and, like, and, record, and recording. And so that would be that, that entity, if you wanted to call it that, that is the ultimate memory. Would be you could call that God, I suppose. Yeah, you could. Yeah, it's just I'd I'd rather not use that terminology because, because that word means so many so different many things different for, things for to so people. many different people, and and you don't have to. You can rigorously, physically, actually understand the nature of the universe. You can. It's not something it, you absolutely can. Mm -hmm. and, and it's hard for people to believe that. When I talked to physicists just recently, a, a physicist at Burning Man, you know, it's like, how can you be so confident? Because it's analytical. Mm -hmm. It's straight up analytical and it works. Mm 